if it's breakfast you're after, you've had it. Oh. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, no breakfast. I've just forgotten something. The way home. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll just... Uh... Oh. <laughs> now, that I would like to see. Nice house coat. Oh, sorry, yeah, you know what it's like when you're fumbling around in the dark. <laughs> Grab the first thing that comes down. Hey, don't take that personally. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's really not fair, this. You've seen more of it than I have in this past few days. If you can't, hack the pace, Lizzie. Oh. All right, then. How about we go out tonight? You mean out, out? Tony's mate runs the door of a bar in town. It is so posh, there is not one single rude cocktail on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, all of us, you two, and me and Tony. He's looking for the ejector seat, bless. No, 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 uh, what time? I'll sort cover in the bistro. Starting when? You're not abandoning me now. Oh. Well, I'll, uh, leave you to it, guys. Shall we make an early start? Say, uh, six? Great. <laughs> Come on, Cinders. Put a smile on me face. Throw a ziggy. <laughs> oh, believe it. I thought I know who's done this. That gang of scallies that have been hanging around. They think they're funny. What's the matter with these people? And don't say they're bored. Ooh, poor Prancer. Taken out by a takeout. I'll put the kettle on. Toast? Cereal, I can do some eggs. I'll make you a sandwich. You can take it to work. She is going, then. She can hear you. You need to keep busy. Stop your mind from wandering. To Gary. And you can say his name. I'll stick with loser, thanks. Look, we all punch above our weight from time to time. I won't knock the lad for trying, but that's no surprise when it blows up in his face. Even if that's true, it is not helping. And this is thousands of houses on the market and we had to move into his. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm miles away. What's this? Pound a crease. Sorry, I thought it must be a sponsored thing. No? No? Let me guess. An ex? Carlo? Oh. God, no. Nick! Nick! Hi, mate. So, I figured that the bistro's doing maintenance check. Christmas rush and all that, you don't want the... We're fine. It's just that the extractor ducks were playing up when I did the... Yeah, do you not hear me? We're fine. Nothing doing. Sorry. There we are. One tea. Strong enough to stand your spoon up. Ah, oh, lovely. Cheers, Ryan. There's only so much of that herbal nonsense you can drink. Well, uh, Cal. Yeah, his body's a temple. Mine's more of a scout up. <laughs> Oh, what's this? You starting your Christmas do early? Uh, Rob's being sentenced today. Mm -hmm. My one and only brother up for murder. All oh, right. Uh, what time are you going? We're not. No, he's ticked a box saying no publicity. Is that an option these days? Oh, oh you're yeah, being facetious, sir. Yeah. No friends, no family, and not even enemies. Well, I'd like to say good luck, but it's hard to mean it, considering. So not the day to go chasing Tracy for the rent, then? Oh, don't look at me like that, Roy. She might have had it tough, but Peter's had it a lot tougher. And that money's earmarked for our side. Not that he's ever loving, and he seems to care. Yeah, well, imagine if the boot was on the other foot and it was Peter that owed her. She'd have sent in the heavies by now. We haven't done the respray yet. <laughs> Tell him the respray's the least of his worries. Look, we've had a mare. The parts are not easy to come by. And when you do finally track them down... What Robin get? What, it's 60 quid delivery for two bucket seats? Steve, that's just to transport them. When he quoted what he wanted for the seats, he nearly dropped the phone. So you're happy to pay? 60 quid delivery? Well, I better eat humble pie. Yeah, he's still the Robin get. Sounds like he's still pining for it. Hey, you'll miss her when she's gone. You have had a blast. No fiddling with laptops, proper engineering. Yeah, you're right, I've loved it. <laughs> Plus, you get to see that look in grown men's eyes. Yeah, that look that says, did you build this yourself? 
out of Lego. Hey, we don't all want to drive him on Dale. Steve wants to feel the wind in his hair. Oh, the Manchester drizzle. No, no, good luck to him. It's, um, it's a statement. A bold statement. Yeah, on his bank statement. <laughs> yeah, check yourself. Uh, I texted him about this one I saw at the motor show. Owner spent six years on her. Why wall tight? Seriously? Yeah, that's what I thought. Check this out. Oh, yeah. It's nice, then. Yeah? Um, Tracy? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, if you change your mind, I can cope, you know. Eh? No, I said tea, you said coffee. Oh, um, no. Today, what time's Rob's earring? Oh, four o'clock. Look, uh, if you want to go down to the court... Did I say I... that? No. Did I even hint it? Well, no, but Right, once... so stop trying to read my mind badly. Oh, great, it's really poor woman. All right, come in peace. Listen, I've spoken to Peter and he said it's fine, the bank can wait. Carla's right, you've got enough on your plate right now. Yeah. Well, spare me the pity party. You can have your money. Uh, Simon's money. Oh, whatever. Tell little Lord Fauntleroy that he can have his money today. All right. Uh, Tracy, there's no need for that. I'm going to make a phone call. Has she ever heard of a reasonable conversation? <laughs> Welcome to my world. Every day is a roller coaster ride of joy. <sighs> See ya. Bye bye. Um, where are all the red serviettes? There's only enough for half the tables. What's wrong with the white? Well, Nick wanted something more festive. Has he forgot the order? Oh, missed call. Why would you leave a boxing glove in the ladies' lap? I do wonder about our customers. And... Let's back it off. Meeting with suppliers. Yeah, right, more like having a duvet day. No, Nick wouldn't be so unprofessional. I've got eight tables in for lunch, two celiacs and a nut allergy, and then just me and the chef to cope. you manage. No, I won't. It'll be rubbish. We'll get no tips, snotty reviews, and then Muggins here will cop all the blame. But, oh, no, as long as Nick gets his beauty set. Oh, and all, so, uh, any coffee on the go? You were sent? Was I? Oh, I could kiss you. Well, normally that's for a ring on my finger, but... Uh... Have you got a black shirt or... Because you know what? You are fine as you are. Please say you will do it. I'll do it. Do what? <gasps> I could eat him on a butty. Come on. Right. Late. Good afternoon, Tony. How's things, Tony? Oh, how long's it gonna take? We're meeting Frankie at half past. Load up. Drive the stuff across to my place. Unload. How long? I'll be home in time for tea. I've got a date. Right. Um. Just so you know, I'm not gonna be able to pay up front. <laughs> I've got rent due. Haven't we all? Urgently. So if you pay today, then you can take my fifty percent back off the profits. With a hundred percent of the risk. Take it or leave it. 60-40. I'm putting my neck on the line. No chance. And yet, it's too much for you. Running Barlow's buys, looking after Amy, looking after your folks with no Rob for backup. Oh, you leave Rob out of this. If I were you, I'd shut up shop, post the keys to the door, walk away. Who sourced your stock, Rob? And me. Who smoothed the bulk buyers, the hotels? At both. We were equal. Rob. Without him, you'd be knocking your pan out for nothing for rent you can't cover. It's cash flow. Single mother. You'd better off on benefits. Or working for someone else. <laughs> yeah, like you, you mean? You'd be fantastic in sales. Hit your targets, but keep your bonus and go home. Let some other mugs stress about rent. If you were Richard Branson, I'd actually listen. But you're Tony Stewart, and you sit in in a transit van. So are we going to do this or not? Because otherwise, I'm out. in here, right? It's very bar humbug. Looks how it always looks. Well, you could have gone to a bit of tin, so. Well, feel free to put that suggestion in the suggestion box. AKA a bit. That's, uh, is that everything? Well, you might want to check your list. Where is your list? It's on the phone. Can you check things off on your phone? It's all there. Mm. Gary, wait. Well, I'll take that on trust, but in future, you can't beat a pen and paper. Thanks, Roy. Thank you. 
Royce Rolls may be many things, but Baldy isn't one of them. <laughs> What plans have you made for Christmas Day? Well, I, I don't normally bother as a rule. Cards and decorations, mince pie and sherry for Santa, that was Haley's domain. Was there a... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Perfectly toasted, as ever. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> yeah, it's where I live. Live. Yeah, well, you'll be back. Well, you would have sold it if you thought it were permanent, Willis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Make me an offer. Ah, cash flow. <laughs> you think you'll sell these by Christmas? No, oh, why? Are you worried about your little investment? We could call it an investment in the company. Oh, yeah, a company that's about to hit the skids. Mm. Mark's through his lot in with Spencer. Oi, I've told you. Barlow's buys is mine. If you don't want to work with me, find some other mug to shift and carry. Trace, don't go off on one. It's a compliment. You're a natural negotiator. You had Frankie eating out of your hand, and she's a tough old bird. Yeah, that hasn't had a snog since the millennium, who lives with a cat. Mad Frankie's got a cat. Oh, yeah, she's got cats. If the hair's on a fleece or anything to go by. <laughs> Oi, listen, look, this thing with me right now, it's temporary. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm going to be back on my feet before you know it. Okay. <sighs> it's lovely having professional neighbours. I mean, when you think what we could have had and what we've had, oh, so dodger Eddie Winger. So, yeah, the Nazirs, they're a breath of fresh air. I do worry that it might get a bit much, you know, working so closely with all your hair and then going home and I see him pegging out and washing. Blakeson and Hayes, solicitors. It's Rob. Hello? Keeping his weights, that's my workout for the day. Trace. What is it? What's happened? 25 years. Rob. He lied. He tried to frame another man on top of cold-blooded murder. They threw the book at him. 25 years. I'm going to be 62 by the time he gets out. Carla, look. I don't know what. You don't to... have to say anything. There's really nothing to say, is there? You know, when he came out of prison before, he vowed it'd finish him. Hey, he'll survive. He has no choice. When my phone went before. Oh, come on, love. I was never getting off with it. I thought it was him. You know, I thought that I'd, I'd at least let him have one phone call. It'll be category A. Eh? You'll have to earn that privilege. Yeah, they would have marched him down to the cells and into the van. I don't hang about, and he won't be thinking straight. And I'm an easy target, Anna. I mean, he can tell himself it was all my fault. Hey, come on. You know what he thinks of you. Yeah, he hates me. No, he doesn't. He adores you. He did this for well, you can say it. You did it for me, right? No. Well, that keeps me awake at night. But this is not your fault. We know that. Rob knows that. But what about Tracy? I'm not saying she's right. I just think you should watch your back. <laughs> life. It could be worse. It could mean life. He will come out. Yeah. Well, it's a life sentence for me. What have I got left? Everything. Child, family, a business. For what it's worth. Friends, we have got friends. Do you know that poem? He was my north, my south, my east, my west. Oh, well, my dad would know it. Four weddings and a funeral. You must have watched it with some girlfriend. 
Well, when I first watched that film, I laughed, you know? The idea that you could love somebody with all that snot and guts. And then I met Rob. You know, he thought I was hilarious. Everybody else had me pegged as a bitch, but to him I was... I was Joan Rivers, wrapped up in the body of Kate Moss. <laughs> That's the way it was. What am I supposed to do now, eh? Am I supposed to give up? Shrivel up? Get a cat? You decide. You wait for him? He killed a girl. Or you move on, find someone else. No. A fit like that. You know, some people never get it once. It won't come around twice. I have to say, that is the most festive thing I've seen in years. A phoenix from the flames. Wouldn't you agree, Roy? A resounding two fingers to the vandals. I could think of better names for them, but not in polite company. You saw them? Uh, not in action, no, but I've a fair idea who it was. Well, I'm sure you do too, Roy. Without proof, I wouldn't like to speculate. Oh, two donuts and two coffees to go, please, Roy. Ah, Mono's been on. Says he's got tickets for the mesh bar on Boxing Night. Same banners last year. Should be good. No, I'll be in Wolverhampton. Mm. Oh, sorry, I meant to say, um, Scylla's not been too good and Fizz doesn't want to move us, so we're going to shift Christmas down to us, but you're welcome to join us. Oh, that's very kind, but I do have plans. Right, well, if they fall through, you know where we are. All day breakfast in a greasy spoon. Can't remember the last time I did this. I can't remember the last time I didn't eat a meal on the hoof. Yeah, well, you'll be glad of this later. Lining on your stomach. When me and Liz get started on the cocktails, ooh. Fierce? Women possessed. Oh, uh, Luke. Mum called. She wants to go around to Nan's. It's something about the back door. OK. Oh, hello. Is this your new supplier? Ah, uh, yeah, that meeting finished early. So, I'm not going to be in tonight. I was Don't going to be... worry about it. I've sorted it. I just made a few tweaks to the router, but I'll fill you in on that tomorrow. OK. All right, see you later. Looks like you're off the hook. Let's make the most of it. If you want to use these online suppliers, fine, but you pay double what I paid buying them off the scrap merchants. This is all you're doing, this. He's got a new list here. We've not even finished his first one. I, uh, saw that, uh, motor show online, got inspiration. Ah, good business, isn't it? I didn't twist his arm. I was thinking about the respray. Zephyr Red, you loved it. Uh, yeah, but I've seen it in Racing Green. We've ordered the Zephyr now. I know, but you should see it in the green. I mean, it looks so slick. I mean, it's practically purring. I mean, tell him I'll pay for the return on the red. Well, you'll have to pay something. We can't keep adding to this bill. That's what it comes to up to now. We charge for the labour, but some of the ringing bells. Yeah, it's you fine, know... it's fine, it's fine. Um, um... I've not got my card on me. Well, you can drop us a cheque off. Uh, no, a uh, card would be better. I mean, I'll have to transfer some money about, but, uh, you know I'm good for it. Anyway, all this other stuff, when can I book her back in? I've phoned a paint dealership up today. White wall tyres. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. All the way around. What are you doing here? Has Carla seen you? Uh, you needed fashion and stuff. I won't do, apparently. You have the eye. Lamps. Two living room, two bedroom. You have to have them today. I thought we could stop off for ice cream. Well, let me just grab my bag and tell Carl I'm going. How was your day? It's good. I learned a whole new transferable skill. Excellent. Cake one. Apparently, the secret's in the list. It's on the cards for tomorrow, I wonder. They're gonna send her for a long stand. Say when? <laughs> All that stuff is gone. You what? Did you read that in a woman's magazine? Love only comes along once, Tosh. Oh, well, break it to me gently, Tony. If you want to hide away, lick you wounds... My fiancé just got life. Go ahead, shut the door to new people, new opportunities. Like a partnership with a tall, dark wheeler dealer. Look, I know where this is headed. Listen, for once in your life, stuff work deals. I'm talking about you. Jilted, skint, crow-footed, nearly 40-year-old, six millionaire. Don't dig yourself down. 
Could you go for me? There's no answer to that. Could you? I'm with Liz. I love Liz. Oh, yeah. And a love like that only comes around once, doesn't it? Oh, no, sorry. That's guff. Answer. I'm a one-woman man. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. Mm -mm. I mean... Yeah, except on days with a Y in them. Don't play games, Jason. No, I'm not playing games. No, I'm asking you. Seriously. I know a hundred guys that would kill for a night. Just one night. <sighs> but not you. Answer! But I will get an answer. Well, tonight's the night, hoping to raise lots of money for six UK charities. We've the fabulously festive Text Santa coming up next.